Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So as it says in the title, today we're gonna to be doing a review of the Huda Obsessions Mint Pastel Palette. I have been wanting this palette for so long, so I'm so excited to use it. I haven't used it before, like right now. Um, so yeah, we'll see how it goes and I will offer my opinions if you wanna hear them. So this is what it looks like. Super cute packaging, super tiny. And you basically have nine shades. And there's a mirror as well, which is obviously always helpful. So first I'm gonna swatch them and see sort of how they come out. Okay, pigmented, I like it. These are so pigmented. I love it. Oh, look at that, look at that though. Oh, that is just crazy. Okay, so I've swatched all of them. are like catching the light really nicely and this is what I like about Huda eyeshadows because I feel like she just does them right like I have another Huda palette which I really like and it's again super pigmented and it just applies really nicely it's really easy to blend so I'm hoping that nothing is different with this palette so firstly I'm just gonna do my base so I'm just putting a little bit of matte primer all over my face Then I'm just using my foundation from Charlotte Tilbury. And I'm just doing a really light layer for this look because it's really hot today and I don't feel like wearing really heavy foundation. I'm just blending that in with my beauty blender. Then I'm just combing out my eyebrows and filling them in slightly. Next, I'm using some primer from Kiko and I'm just putting that all over my eyelids. Going in with this shade, I'm just applying it all over my crease. I had to go back into the eyeshadow quite a few times in order to get the color that I wanted. Then just above my crease, I'm going with the slightly copper shade that's in the palette. And then back in with the green shade. Then I'm just putting that all over my eyelid. Using a fluffier brush, I'm just blending it in a little bit. Then going in with the slightly darker green shade, I am putting that in the outer corner of my eye first, but I'm sort of blending it in towards my inner corner. I'm just doing a little bit of eyeliner. I'm not too good at doing eyeliner, so I'm going really slowly. And I actually ended up going a bit closer to the mirror in order to finish off the wing. Then taking the same darker green shade, I'm putting that on my lower lash line. Yeah. 
and then applying a little bit of mascara. Then I'm doing the exact same on the other eye. And it stopped recording when I did this on my other eye, but just using my finger, I'm taking a little bit of the gold shimmery shade and I'm putting that on my inner corner and blending it out towards the middle of my eye. And I'm using a bit of concealer in the usual places. And a bit of contour again in the usual places then I'm blending the concealer out with my beauty blender And then taking a contour brush, I'm blending the contour into my face. And I'm using some blush from Iconic London. And I'm popping a tiny bit on my fingers and just on to my cheeks and then I'm just rubbing that out with my fingers. I also like to use my beauty blender just to help blend it in a little bit. And then going in with some Morphe highlight, I'm just highlighting the usual places, so my cheekbones, my nose, and my cupid's bow. Then I finished off with one of my favorite Huda matte lipsticks. So overall, I really like this palette. I thought it was kind of a bit difficult to get the colors on at first. It might be because, you know, like with pastel colors, it tends to be a bit harder to get that pigmentation. So using a better primer might work, but it was okay in the end. It just took a while to sort of get the color that you want going. But other than that, I thought they blended really nicely. Um, I like the selection of colours in the palette. And um, yeah, I'm quite impressed. So she's come out with three um, types of these Obsessions palette. You've got the mint, which is obviously this one. You've got the lilac and the rose. And they are £29 each, if I remember correctly. And I managed to get this with a bit of discount, so I actually got it for 20 which is pretty good, I think, because this palette's quite unique and I don't have any uh, minty colours at the moment. I like the different shades that they had in this. 
So there's a pistachio matte, apple green matte, tan matte, teal matte. There's two bronze shimmery ones. Um, there's a mint shimmer and there's a silver shimmer. And also one called caramel mint swirl, which basically sounds like ice cream, okay. Um, and there's also caramel mint swirl and turquoise mint swirl. Colors are really nice, I really like the palette and I, I'm sold, thanks Huda. So yeah, if you're looking for, you know, these kind of colors or like the lilac colors or the rose colors, then I'd say it's definitely worth getting. Thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and until next time, see ya.